up guys good morning okay so i'm at the gym right now i'm gonna go in and you are coming with me and we are gonna do a built uh lift your booty uh workout lift your glutes up i guess <laughs> booty lifting workout um but i wanted to go over you know just about how how long it's taken me like how long have i been working out i worked i've been working out for about Eight years before I started working out at the gym I was um, I was pretty athletic in high school um, I was a very big into basketball I did sp I was a sprinter I did um, the hundred meter dash and the 200 meter dash and um, so I've, I for the most part have always been athletic but when I was in high school I used to hate working out like I you I used to hate suicides and I used to hate people telling me what to do um, but then like I said it, you know going into college I ended up finding this passion for the fitness side and you know being able to be in control of my body um, and be in control of what I put into it and what I do with it and um, it, it, and it all just kind of flourished from there uh, but I did want to go I did want to um, address the question of like how long it took me to build my backside or just build just like I guess be um, in the shape that I'm in right now well it's taken me a while guys and um, it has been like a trial and error it's been me experimenting with particular types of workouts and um, trying to do the, the these specific things and not and eliminating these from my workouts and um, I do want to say that you know uh, genetically um, my mom and my dad my mom is a, a little bit of a more of a petite I think she's like 5'1 um, she is very petite from like the waist up but she definitely has a, a larger badunk -a dunk like a larger backside and not to say that I, I'm sure I got a little bit of her genetics when it comes to that but it it's one thing to have a big backside it's another thing to I'll make it appear nice <laughs> um, and shape it properly you know like you're an artist like you're sculpting your physique the way you want it to and so I wish I had more transformation photos for you guys but I'll be honest if I wasn't like you know transformation photos on Instagram and everything just like popped up a few years ago when I started this was in 2008 when I really started working out and 2008 I don't even know if we, there was apps out back, back then so you know I'm I'm a very I could be a very um shy person and I never took photos back then of my backside um, I was embarrassed and I mean like I wasn't ex I actually wasn't expecting me to I don't know I guess take want to take photos or like you know want to do comparison photos you know years later so I, I, I wish I did but it was one of those things where I wasn't um, 2008 you know we didn't have selfies I don't think there were selfies out there so there wasn't a reason to take photos but I do want to say that I have over the years have really figured out how I want to train and what I want aesthetics wise um, to look like and so uh, there's certain things that I do in the gym and there's certain things I don't do you guys have probably noticed I don't do barbell squats a I just find that form um, I don't I'm, I'm not I, I obviously don't do them a lot so my my lower back can't handle the amount of weight that actually my lower body can handle um so i don't i, I don't want to injure myself i don't and i actually have no desire to barbell squat um if i do any types of squats like that i will use a smith machine because it actually helps support my lower back guys if if people are educating you to do barbell squats and you've never done a barbell squat before um i would caution you on doing it yourself i would have help i would use a weight belt i would um my biggest my biggest um piece of advice to you guys is if you guys want to work out and you guys want to improve on things just make sure that you are doing it safely and properly because um all you need to do is you know tweak your back and gosh for big guys i mean i like i said i've seen i see back surgeries every day and i see the chronic pain medications these patients are on due to the chronic back pain you do not want to have chronic back pain dude especially due to like working out on state um 
not safely and improperly so just my little like little bit of advice for you guys I mean just seeing it from the other side and seeing that you know especially the way that drugs are used these days um, it becomes addictive and you just you just gonna spiral down and so do please 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 practice proper form and you know and also don't be influenced by what other people tell you. If they tell you, oh, you need a barbell squat, you do not need a barbell squat. It's a great compound move, but if there's other, there's so many other alternatives, guys, to building your lower half and building the booty up, and we're gonna go in, and we're not gonna do barbell squats, we're gonna do a variety of other things. So let's go in. I hope you guys like these next clips, and let's go. <laughs> What's up guys? Hey, welcome back to another voiceover workout. Uh, this one is particularly amazing. I will have to say this is a guaranteed an ultimate booty lift for you guys. Uh, now, you'll notice that I'm not actually doing, other than one particular exercise, I'm not doing any squats. Um, a lot of this is, a, a lot of this incorporates lunges, step ups, and cable work, okay? Again, we're not building necessarily, we are lifting. And so specific exercises that I find that really help lift the butt up. Now there's probably many, many more. I'm not saying this is the end all be all video for butt lifting, <laughs> okay? So just take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, I don't know everything, I will never know everything, and I am very comfortable telling you guys I don't know everything, but I do know something, and I'm, like I said, I'm giving you my experiences and my eight years of training and what I have found to really help, and the best ways to do it, guys, and the most realistic ways to do it. It's all about hard work. It's all about consistency. It's, you aren't going to get the body that you want overnight, there's no magic pill, there's no lotion out there that is going to transform your physique. So just, just do your best to, right now, change your mindset and know that it is going to take a lot of hard work and it is potentially going to be challenging for you at times. But guys, the journey is amazing and when you start to see progress, gosh, it's just addicting and, and you're just going to just enjoy it more so. Don't focus on the end result. Just enjoy the process. Just enjoy the journey. Enjoy, enjoy your experiences, okay? How you can control what you do with your body. So that, that's, that's just, okay, that's my soapbox moment for a minute. Um, sorry about that. I do that all the time. Okay, but moving forward, um, I am starting to do uh, step ups. Now you notice that the previous video was normal step ups one leg at a time, but you can also alternate, guys. Just switch it up, okay? You can really exhaust the muscle if you do one leg at a time, but you'll also make it a more cardio-based exercise if you incorporate both legs, okay? This one you've seen in the past. Notice that I'm, I actually have the barbell in front of me. Um, I prefer my barbells and my dumbbells in front of me. I find I'm, be I'm better able to balance, especially with exercises such as this. Um, I, I love the barbell in the front. I, I would prefer front barbell squats over any type of barbell squat. Uh, I feel I have better control over my lower back. I can, I'm better balanced. I have better coordination. And that's just my preference, guys. For those of you who prefer the bar behind, oh, well, I guess I changed it to the back. Uh, but I do know that I prefer the front barbell. Um, and those of you who prefer the barbell behind the back, obviously it is also an option. So, you know, just experiment with both and see which one you're most comfortable with, okay? Uh, so you'll notice, yes, yeah, sideways step ups. Um, you're gonna press down through that front heel that is on the bench itself. Notice how I actually uh, scoot my foot up towards the front. It's just a better transition as you go over the bench. Uh, 
All right, moving forward from those particular exercises, this is the one squat that I am doing, but I've, I am incorporating another backward lunge. And notice that the barbell is in the front. Like I said, I can actually, I feel like I have best the best form with the barbell in the front and I can go deep, okay? I can go deeper with proper form. I don't feel this in my back at all. Um, I can feel my quads a little bit, but that's, that's what you guys are gonna get with any type of squat. So, you know, people who say you're gonna get a big butt with squats, sure, I mean, you're gonna get a bigger lower body with squats because it incorporates your quads, it incorporates pretty much your whole lower body, including your core. So um, that's why a lot of these times you'll find that I'm isolating my particular muscle groups. Compound moves are amazing. Are they are amazing for you guys? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, squats are great, and I do a lot of types, a lot, a lot of different types of squats. Um, but you also might find that by while you're gaining gaining size in your backside, you might be gaining a little bit more weight in the legs as well, a little bit more size in the legs. So if you want to do that, you guys definitely go for those compound moves, go for the squats, um, go for a lot of lunges. Um, if you want to isolate more of just your backside, I would recommend you know doing some of these isolated exercises a lot more. You know, hip thrusts like you saw in a previous video of mine. Hip thrusts are such a great isolated move if you're doing them properly. Glute bridges, um, reverse hyperextensions. You might have a little bit of your lower back um, targeted in those, uh, but there's a lot of uh, alternatives for that. So hopefully you can eliminate the back all together and don't worry we have so many more workout videos coming so you know just stay tuned just keep watching them um, now I wanted to move forward because I actually haven't it's funny I haven't done my cable exercises for such a long time and so like this whole this whole week you know I went back to them and I think I've done them three times so you know this week um, it, it I don't know why I forgot about them I didn't really forget about them I just I think I was just so excited to like try new new exercises but guys Cable kickbacks, tried and true, glute booty lifter, okay? Look, notice how much my upper body is bent over. I am not I am not straining my lower back at all when I'm doing this particular kickback, okay? I think I'm doing 35 pounds on this cable, so it's pretty heavy for me, but notice with the, uh, my heel is pushing up and out, my heel is leading this exercise. Uh, Another thing I wanted to mention, the ankle straps that I do have right now are by King Kong Nation. I will post that in the description box below, just so you guys have them. Um, they, I, I only, I found them on Instagram, um, and they are really great ankle straps. I don't know how much they are, so uh, hopefully not very pricey for you. The other option is I do have some Stroops ankle straps, which I'll also post in the description box below. Um, you can also get those on Amazon, but they also do have a website link. So um, those I know are like $14.95 per strap. But if you want to, you can only get one and you'll just have to swap legs every after every set. Now I'm, I, I'm not that patient, so luckily I have two, and a lot of times I will actually keep it, I'll keep the ankle straps on my feet at the entire workout. All right, and moving forward, this last exercise, talk about isolating the glutes, guys. These are what I call glute circles. Definitely use the cable, you can use resistance bands. You're just gonna, you're just gonna shape the size of a watermelon all the way at the top. Make sure that your back's not super strained. Um, it might cause a little strain in the lower back, but again, just bring your upper body more towards the floor, more parallel to the, to the floor, and you should be A-OK, -okay, okay? And last but not least, I did want to uh, talk about the outfit. I, I feel so weird saying that, guys. But I know you guys ask, so bear with me. Um, I did want to let you know that the leggings are by Lululemon. Um, they are the Align Pant 2. The, the Nikes are one of my favorite pairs of Nikes, and I know you guys love them. Um, they are the Nike Freeze. They're last seasons, though, so I don't know if they're out there anymore. And then the, the two upper the, the, the long sleeve shirt and the sports bra, well, they're both by Petula, actually. Uh, the long sleeve is just a sample. It won't be in the first launch. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with the long sleeves. If you guys love the open back concept, you let, please let me know. Please leave a comment. Um, if you love the gray, this fabric is phenomenal. It is super light. I, I mean, you sweat you sweat in it, but even the gray, you can definitely see it if you like stretch out the fabric, but it dries super quickly. Um, 
the sports bra will be in the first launch. Um, it will t come in gray with that bright orange, uh, the bright orange straps, and then it'll also be in gray with black straps, guys. So look forward to that. What's up, guys? Okay, so now I am actually heading to a uh, massage. Uh, something that I absolutely love. It's one of those. <clears throat> I don't splurge a lot on anything really um, usually it goes towards food sometimes gym clothes but ultimately I don't splurge a lot um, um, the one thing I do like to um, I really love massages uh, obviously you know working your body five six days a week really hard you are you're bound to be sore you're bound to have knots and um, I also um, a lot of you guys you know ask you know how do you do it all Sam um, I'm a big multitasker and usually even if I'm at home and you know Scott and I are relaxing on the couch and you know we're watching a movie I'm usually doing at least one more thing uh, I have a hard time relaxing so I almost have to force myself to relax and this is one particular way that I literally relax. Now sometimes my brain's still going but I usually, it usually really helps me just to relax, like take an hour, an hour and a half to not physically do anything, not move around, not whatever. So, um, so yeah, so I am, I'm going in to get a massage right now. Uh, when they give me that deep tissue massage, it feels so good. I mean, it, it almost hurts. It hurts to the point where it feels really good. Um, so yeah, so I might look a little bit drunk when I get out of the massage leader. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to go over that. But guys, give yourself something once a month to really look forward to. Whether it is a really nice date out with, you know, your hubby, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriends. Um, get a massage, buy a cute new pair of leggings or a sports bra. Something that will allow you to look forward to to it and then also work really hard till until that upcoming day so I'm gonna go in and I'll see you guys in a bit